Welcome back to City Line. Um, as you can tell, I have two fabulous people on the couch, and they are here to talk about the South Sound Sustainability Expo. Boy, say that 10 times. <laughs> Join me, please, in welcoming our sustainability specialist of the City of Tacoma, Lucy Klug. Welcome, my dear. Thank you so much for having me. It's good to have you on the comfy, comfy couch. This woman you brought with you, who has a name that just trips <laughs> off the tongue. Zakia Sita, yes. you are the executive director of the Chaya Movement. Yes, I am. Welcome to City Thank Line, my you. dear. We're Good so to excited to be here. Yeah. It's great to have both of you here. So Miss Lucy, mm -hmm. it is the 15th, wow, 15th? Yep. 15th <laughs> Annual South Sound Sustainability Expo. Can you give us the details? Of course. Yeah. So it's basically a free celebration of all things sustainability. It's happening on Earth Day this year, which is Saturday, April 22nd. You planned that, didn't you? Perfect timing, yes, you I did. know. <laughs> it's from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the University of Washington Tacoma campus along the Prairie Line Trail and also in Tolleson Plaza. I love that. Mm -hmm. So what can guests expect at the event? And, and what I want you to do, Lucy, put on the GoPro mm. and walk us through like something we would see like on, on social media. Yeah, so there's a ton people can expect. There's more than 70 vendors attending. So all along the wow. Prairie Line Trail and in Tolson Plaza, bunch of tables, booths, interactive events people can participate in. Um, these vendors range from local businesses to nonprofits to government agencies that are all working to improve the environment in the South Sound. So similar mindset, but a really broad di diversity and variety of vendors. And it's also a family free event. So there's a kid's corner, scavenger hunt, and a ton more you gotta come by and check it out. Oh, I love that. You know, one of my favorite things about this event is watching the younger kids educate the parents. Mm -hmm. No, 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 it can't go in there. Right. It has to go in right. here. And I'm just like, yes, <laughs> I mean, that, that generation has got, got it, it down it. pat. Yeah, they are. Um, is there anything new at the expo this year after 15 years? Yes. Well, I'm sure Zakia will dive into it shortly, but we're having mm -hmm. a free community clothing swap where you can donate gently used clothing items and then take home items for your own reuse. Um, we're also having a green building tour in the Milgard Hall, which is actually a UW campus okay. building. And there's also going to be some free test rides of electric bikes and electric scooters hosted Ooh. by Rad Power Bikes and Razor Micromobility. I love that. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, those those electric bikes. They so are, cool. They're those, so fast. They yeah. are so much fun so and fun. so fast. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, Zakia, tell yes. us about the Chaya movement and why you chose to get involved in this year's expo. That's a great question. Um, the Chaya Movement actually has been involved with the Expo in some kind of way since about 2018. Okay. Starting from being a vendor to hosting a panel conversation around sustainability and sustainable fashion around the sound. Um, and this year, finally being able to uh, allow us to partner with the city in this way to do our signature clothing swap event. Um, which is something we've been doing since 2018 as well in local communities or uh, small spaces. And so the expo was a perfect opportunity yeah. to be able to do that. Um, the city wants it. The city's been asking for it. Um, they're always looking for ways to get rid of clothing in a sustainable way um, that's environmentally friendly. So it was a, a definitely a, a perfect partnership for us to be able to host the event. Uh, Absolutely. With the, with the expo. So what should guests bring um, to be prepared for the clothing swap, either to give it but also to take it? I would say bring a bag. Yeah, bring, bring, your <laughs> bag. bring your own bag. That's, That's the right. way to be sustainable. Um, but yeah, just go through your closet and bring things that are, I would say, spring, summer, thinking about the season we're in. Um, men, women, gender neutral clothing, um, shoes. Yes. Um, and so I would say anything from shirts, pants, skirts, dresses. Uh, jackets. Yes. Um, so thinking about all of those items, um, we will take them and hopefully you will leave with a bag full of stuff as well. And hangers. We need and hangers. hangers. Oh! Well. Yes. <laughs> See, nobody ever needs hangers. We all want to get we'll rid of them. We'll need them to display the clothing. So, there we yes. go. So now I'm curious, Akia, mm -hmm. what, what was the reason why you started this? What, and tell me about mm. that moment when you went, oh my goodness, sustainability when it comes to clothing. That's a great question as well. Um, so Chaya, the Chaya movement actually started out as a resale entity. We curated vintage clothing and quality pre-owned clothing 
and sold them. Um, but my professional journey actually started with Citizens for Healthy Bay. Uh, um, and so that was my first job ever. I was an intern there in the summer and really got to see firsthand how a small community entity can make an impact. Um, within the environmental space, but it gave me that perspective. So when I started researching the benefit of recycled clothing, I stumbled upon just the waste that yes. clothing creates. Um, yes. And not only that, the environmental impact, the unethical practices within fashion, and that became just a mission for me to just want to educate and empower consumers um, yes. just on how we can have a, an impact um, in a positive way and be more conscious and mindful mm -hmm. when it comes to our clothing. And naturally the, the Chaya movement was born. And so what we do is um, empower future fashion professionals to be able to have that mindset before they go into their fashion career to know just what yes. type of impact they can have yes. within fashion, thinking about product, thinking about how clothing is designed, um, thinking about uh, supply chain um, and even what happens after the life of a garment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so yes. just really given that, that impact that yes. way. Yes, mm -hmm. there's a great documentary out called Fast Fashion. Mm -hmm. um, boy, once you watch that, mm -hmm. that will change how you Absolutely. view clothing. Absolutely. From the person who's making it and not making very much money yep. to um, how that garment does not last because of what it's yeah. made of. And then it ends up in our landfill. In a landfill. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, Lucy, this event is also in Tolos and Plaza. I love Tullison Plaza. <laughs> so what will be happening there? Because we saw pictures of cars and I saw the scooters. Ooh, yes. So there's a lot of exciting stuff happening in Tullison Plaza. Our urban forestry team at the city is actually hosting a pop-up forest again this year. Oh, so, I love that. Yeah, community members can learn about trees, why they're beneficial to our neighborhoods and environment, and then even take home trees that very day to plant themselves. So Yay! Yeah. <laughs> it's a perfect time to Absolutely. plant a tree. Right? It's springtime, <laughs> yeah. yes. And then what other ways is the city working to get the word out about sustainability? Because sustainability is everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's even in our language. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So the city is doing outreach and community engagement year round about sustainability. And we're really working towards reaching goals in our 2030 climate action plan. We actually just finished up our 2022 progress report of the climate action plan. So we're really going to be encouraging community members to check that out and see how the city is doing in reaching these goals, our success stories and where we're falling behind as well. So mm -hmm. and can you give us a little little sneak? Uh, how are we doing? Are we well, considering it's just the first year, we still have a ways to go, but there are a lot of successes, and especially with our community engagement efforts, like tree plantings, we have a bunch yes. that have happened this past year, a bunch planned ahead. Um, yeah, a lot of community engagement plans. Absolutely. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. I love that. Um, let's talk about Zakia. Why do you feel it's significant um, of the expo taking place on Earth Day this year? Because you could look at it and go, gosh, maybe you won't get as much people because people will be out doing marathons, they'll be picking up a litter. Why Earth Day? That's a great question. And it's like, why wouldn't we do it on Earth Day? Yes, um, there we you go. Know, I think about the community and, and as we've already shared, they're, they're very engaged, especially here in Tacoma, um, when it comes to sustainability and efforts and way to actually like participate. Um, and so I think it just makes sense for us to celebrate Earth Day in this way and also give folks access to different things that they normally wouldn't know about in one spot. You know, it's right. one place to come to learn everything sustainability within the city or around the sound. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just a question of why wouldn't it, if we could do it on Earth Day, it just makes sense to do it on that day. And then also tying in the textile recycling aspect of that as well, because um, folks really don't know how to uh, access that. And so this is also a way to pair the swap and give folks an opportunity to participate in it that way too. It's, a, it's everything for everybody. Everything. That's, that's kind of how I and feel about this. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, Lucy, who is sponsoring uh, this event this year? So the event is hosted by the Office of Environmental Policy and Sustainability, but it's sponsored by Tacoma Public Utilities, Environmental Services, Puget Sound Cooperative Credit Union, and people can explore all of the sponsors and vendors on our website, which is southsoundsustainabilityexpo.org. Very nice. So mm -hmm. what are you both most looking forward to at the expo? And let's start with you first, Akia. What I'm most looking forward to, I always look forward to just engaging with the community. Yep. Um, it is just such a great time to see the faces and the excitement and feel the energy. 
of the community just being able to participate in something that is just fun, um, you know. So I'm, I'm thrilled to be able to engage with the community mostly and I the other it. vendors, like-minded folks. Yeah, there mm -hmm. we go, networking. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and working smart, not hard because Absolutely. you get to network. Yes. What about for you, Lucy? Well, I mean, the obvious answer is the clothing swap. I love to thrift, yes. and if it's free, then that's even better. Yeah. But I guess also just learning from all the vendors and incorporating new sustainable habits into my everyday lifestyle because mm -hmm. you never learn enough, and I'm excited to see what else is out there. I bet. Mm -hmm. um, who do we need to thank in this last few minutes? Well, our volunteers, yes. um, we actually still could use some volunteer help. Oh, okay. So, yes. Especially with the clothing swap. Yes, so if anyone's please. interested please go to our websites or Facebook events mm -hmm. and sign up to volunteer. But also just all the vendors, the sponsors, everybody involved and everybody attending. I love that. Because you mentioned as when we opened, this is the 15th annual. Right. So you know enough now that when this gets launched on Earth Day, the next day you start planning the next mm -hmm. year. Right. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So this is what I call a well-oiled machine it is. at sure. this point. It is. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> um, will, will there be masks and will there be COVID precautions taken? Since it's outside, I don't think that there will okay. be any specifically COVID precautions taken, but we do encourage if you're sick to stay home yes. and just stay spaced out. We're going to be outdoors, so hopefully it'll all go smoothly. All right. <laughs> I want to say thank you to you, both of you yeah. and the people we couldn't get on this couch for the amazing amazing work and the knowledge that you are bringing to our city um, and the fact that sustainability is something we all have to learn how to do yeah. every moment of the day so thank you for that great gift thank, thank you, you. Oh, thanks for having welcome. us yeah. <laughs> when we come back after a little musical chairs we will have the fourth annual citywide litter free 253 event on the couch you don't want to miss that